Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Guys, we're still doing our series on Love Your Codebook and It Will Love You Back. If you haven't viewed my two previous videos on Love Your Codebook ICD-10-CM and Love Your Codebook CPT, go back and view those videos. Today I'm doing Love Your Codebook's HCPCS. HCPCS. Again, I just want to remind you, if there's something that you really want to do, something that you really love, something that you really care about, you want to get to learn as much as you can about it. Same goes for our classification systems. If you want to learn to code, you've got to learn the classifications. ICD-10, CM, CPT, and HCPCS are the three classifications for the CPC certification. So get to know your code books. Get to know the classification. Again, today we're doing HCPCS. And the way that I like to describe HCPCS is HCPCS has been around longer than CPT. HCPCS is our supply classification. It's the medications that go into syringes. HCPCS durable medical equipment, ambulance run, dental, things that deal with the supplies in healthcare. I like to compare HCPCS to grocery shopping at Walmart. When I go to the self-checkout and I have to scan, let's see if I can find it, the barcode. When you go to the self-checkout and you boop, 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 that, HIC, that code goes into their, the, the system at Walmart to charge the patient. Same thing, that's what HCPCS is. It's a supply code for supplies used in healthcare, but so much more. So again, let's look at our HCPCS book. Now I have the 2020 edition because I don't do much HCPCS coding and I like to wait till later in the year when the prices go down since I don't use it as much. So let's look at my edition of HCPCS level two, because remember CPT is level one, book. Let's look at the classification. All right, let me share with you my book. Okay, this is my HCPCS book. And HCPCS, what I've learned now is where the CPT does not have all of the modifiers identified. Oh my goodness, HCPCS. Their front and back covers. And you see it says CPT modifiers. Right on the front cover. Okay, and it identifies the CPT modifiers, the Category 2 modifiers, the HCPCS modifiers, and guys, these modifiers go on and on and on. And this is just the front cover. This is just the front cover of my HCPCS book. Tons and tons of modifiers. And of course, this HCPCS book has the tabs if you want to tab your book. Again, these tabs that I have here are just for this video purpose, but the book does come with its self-adhesive tabs if you want to tab your book. And you can see some of the names on the tabs. New procedures, hate pick procedures, crosswalks, etc. Okay. And then we move right on to the table of contents. Again, it's right there at the front of the book for you to view. Your table of contents. And then it has symbols and conventions that are used in this classification. It does have instructions for using the manual. As well as hit pick coding procedures. I always tell my students these are the guidelines. Make sure you read these. Understand what hit picks coding procedures is all about. Because notice it says dental codes, okay, miscellaneous codes, temporary national codes, and there's so much information in this book, guys, but you've got to be able to read through, and there's lots and lots of guidelines here, but let's go on to the next tab, I've got tabs, new and revised and deleted codes, now this was for 2020, so if you've got the 2021 edition, yours will say 2021. And it identifies those codes. And those go on for pages. Okay. 
And then we have the revised codes. Again, pages. And then we have a deleted code crosswalk. Okay, it shows you the codes that were deleted and their crosswalk to the new code. Okay, and it goes down pages. And of course, those anatomical illustrations so much help, guys, when you're coding to understand what these pictures, how they describe the different body parts. So that as you're coding and you need to see it, you can see it. Okay, and those go on for pages. And then you have your alphabetic index to HICPIX coding. And remember, this is it says the index to services, supplies, equipment, and drugs. And then notice at the end of that alphabetic index, you've got a note section. Guys, again, I'm reminding you, take notes. Okay? This is where your tabular begins. And your tabulars start with A. And A are your transportation services, including ambulance. So if you've ever wanted to learn how to do ambulance coding, there it is. Okay. There's also medical and surgical supplies. And B are the enteral and parenteral therapy. Okay. Codes. Outpatient PPS. There's your C's. Durable medical equipment. Notice it skipped from C codes to E codes because the D codes are the dental codes. Dental codes have their own classification, but they are HICPICS codes. Okay? And then we go on into G codes. Are those procedures, professional services? We tend to code Medicare, Medicaid patients with these G codes. Okay? J-codes are your drugs administered other than oral method. And those, so those are your drugs, your medications. Again, we're still on okay, K, durable medical equipment, again, DME. Orthotics procedures and services, start with the letter L. Prosthetic procedures, we're still under the L's. And you can tell by the different colors of the page that the pages start with. Medical services, M. Pathology and lab, the P codes. Temporary codes, Qs. Diagnostic radiology service, and look at there's only three R's. Those are the transportation when you're transporting in radiology. Temporary National Codes, S. National Codes established for state Medicaid agencies, T. Vision Services, the letter V. Vision Services. Hearing Services. Again, you're still under the letter V. Hearing Services. And then we're going to do your appendices. And you guys, I hope I've taught you guys from my previous videos. These appendix give you so much information. Table of Drugs and Biologics. And it names the drug. It talks about the units. It talks about the route, how it's ad administered. And it talks, it gives you the code. Very, very helpful when you're trying to find the medication. So Appendix A, Table of Drugs and Biologicals. Appendix B. Are your HICPICS level 2 modifiers, lay descriptions, and tips? It talks about the actual modifiers. What do they mean? So go through this appendix with a fine tooth comb because it is thick. C is a list of abbreviations. Again, helpful when you're reading a chart and you're like, okay, what does this mean? Look at those abbreviations. Appendix D is your place of service and type of service. Very similar to what's in your CPT book. 
Appendix E are your APC status indicators, APC status indicators. And then F is ASC payment indicators. Lots of information right here in the appendices of your Hick Picks book. Look at G, Appendix G, Column 1 and Column 2, Correct Coding Edits. Interesting, like the NCCIs, oh my goodness. And then your Appendix I is a Publication 100 series on Hick Picks. And it's got, you know, your different chapters. And then it leads us to the back. Let's see what this, oh, this is what I also wanted to show you. Again, a note section at the very back of the book. But guys, it's got pages for you to write your notes. Use these notes, especially when you're taking your exam. You can make your little notes to yourself right back here in the back of your book. It's got tons of pages for you to do just that. And then it leads us to our back cover. Again, with the anesthesia modifiers, this I'm telling you, modify this cover, front and back, ambulatory modifiers, and additional, oh my goodness, more and more modifiers. So guys, hopefully from this series of videos I did on loving your code book and it will love you back, you guys will see all of the information in these books. You just need to spend time. This is what I teach my students. Spend time in your books. Get to know your books. They give you everything that you need when coding. But you just got to know that it's there. Alright guys, thanks. I will see you in the next one.